Hello again, Craig Grasha, Oaks Bible Church, Santa Barbara, 1 Corinthians 15. That's what we're talking about, the resurrection chapter of the Bible and what that resurrection means to you in your life. And Paul is answering two specific questions that we get in verse 35 of 1 Corinthians 15. So what are the two questions? Someone will say, how are the dead raised? How's it going to happen? Paul's going to answer that beginning in verse 50, and that's a few posts from now. But right now he's answering this question, and with what kind of body do they come? What are the bodies going to look like? What are we going to be like when we get to heaven if we're resurrected with Jesus? Good question. Now, we've already talked about continuity. We'll be not identical clones. We won't look exactly the same as we look now. I'm kind of glad about that. But there'll be a continuity because that which falls into the ground comes back the same as it was. Wheat comes back as wheat, and beans come back as beans, and Craig comes back as Craig. You're going to have continuity. Just as Jesus was recognizable, you'll be recognizable. But now I want you to look at the second of the four we gave you last week in the last post. And the second is distinction. Now that isn't distinction like I'll be distinguished. It means that we'll be different. We'll be different from each other. There are some people that believe that since when you see Jesus, we'll all be the same. We'll see him as we is, and we'll be like little Jesuses, little clones running around heaven. But Paul makes it clear that we'll have a distinctiveness to each of us. Just like every snowflake is different, every fingerprint is unique. So we're going to be unique, not only on earth as we are, but we're going to be unique in heaven as well. And for that, he uses three different analogies. One from horticulture, one from zoology, and one from astronomy. Okay, we've already seen the one in horticulture. He he said back in in uh, verse thirty seven that which you sow you do not sow the body which is to be but a bare grain perhaps of wheat or something else, and just as whatever you put into the ground as a seed will come back a rhododendron seed will come back as a rhododendron flower and a rose seed will come back and so on. But secondly, he's going to now use zoology. Look at verse thirty nine. All flesh is not the same flesh. But there's one flesh of men and one flesh of beasts, another of birds, another of fish. In other words, in the resurrection, just as the flesh is different here on this earth, it'll be the different in heaven also. You and I won't look identical. I'll look like Craig and you'll look like you, or at least a better version of me, a better version of you. But we'll have distinction. We'll be distinct from one another. We'll be recognizable with one another. We'll understand that Moses has a certain look and Elijah has a different look. And your mother and your father, assuming they're and hoping they're in heaven, will have a distinctive look. I think we'll look better, probably younger and thinner and and wiser, uh, but we'll look distinctly different. And then he uses the example of astronomy. I like, I appreciate this. Verse verse, uh, 40, it says, Now there are heavenly bodies and earthly bodies, but the glory of the heavenly is one and the glory of the earthly is another. Stars, each different and unique, Uh, different suns in the sky, different planets, each having their own characteristics, all appearing in the sky as just beams of light to us, little dots that we call stars, whether they're planets or stars, but they're different, they're distinct, and if we looked at them closely, each would have its own characteristic, the same as you and I will have our own characteristics and own personalities when we get to heaven? That's a great answer to the question with what kind of body do they come? We'll have distinction, not only continuity. That was the first point that Paul made. Not only will we have a a continuation of our personality in our our person, but we'll have a distinction where we'll be different from other people. I like that. We're going to continue. Come back. We're learning.